Hi guys, it's Kevin here. I'm going to give you a first run through on how to build a character. So, first of all, we have your occupation cards. You will find there are four of them in the base box uh, for caves and four in the, in the sewers. For each of these occupations, uh, they are female and male, okay? All of them have double sided artwork. And the way they differentiate between them, obviously, is you have a different piece of art. You have different attributes here. And the knife block on the right-hand side is your default weapon. We'll come to that, but it's the same stats on each one. So basically, you're differentiating on what art you would like, the attributes you want, and most importantly, the speciality in the top right. You see this figure here. So what I'm going to do uh, at random here is select the... Student, let's take a female student. So we have a female student with arcane. Here are the attributes in particular. She has very good reason. Um, reasonable will and handle. Not so good at talking or doing anything physical. Okay, so that is our student there. The next thing we need to do is build in a weapon. So I did say that she comes with the default weapon as a knife, but that's... That's ambitious just to rely on that, yeah, even though we are doing grim and gritty and penniless here. So what I'm going to do now is have a look at our weapon cards that come with, with that come with the game. Note that each of the weapon cards has or a base side with this tarnished some this tarnished effect here, and then you upgrade it to get this gunmetal effect and it will say upgraded in the top, okay? So please be aware of that. Also, you have this part here where you can break them. That's only if you choose to play uh, legendary difficulty level. So for this case just now, I'm going to take the rough bow. You can take any weapon you want. These attributes down here on the occupation card have no meaning on what weapon you take. So I'm going to take the bow and put these weapons back up here. And now what I'm going to do is take the tarnished side because it's on, it's not upgraded and slot that down here on the occupation card. So we now have, we now have a student with a bow. Note this metal part here defines where to put your weapons. So you've got enough space for one weapon, two weapons at the moment. We only begin with one, so we're going to take this one here. Okay, so we start the game with three talents. The next thing we're going to do is go to our talents pile. So you will come with all these weapon talents that come with the game. Uh, the weapon talents will have an applicable uh, picture on them. So in this case, uh, I actually have three choices for the bow. Really important that you pick the same family, see the weapon, the bow family here, from the card. You must have that family to match to be able to use it. So in this case, I quite fancy being able to do a quick draw. So I'm going to take the quick draw card and put the remaining weapon talents back and put this quick draw card down here. So my talent, my weapon talent, is now beneath my weapon next to my occupation card. Finally, we're going to do some, we're going to pick two skill talents. Your skill talents here are all, are all like so. And in this case here, I'm going to begin with Arcane Theory and Botanist. You can take any two that you wish, okay? The important point to remember is that this book here, the skill talent, is trying to show you that you should place it beneath the book on the card, okay? So if I now move this slightly to here, okay, you have an assembled character which has an occupation card, a weapon, a weapon talent, two skill talents. Things I would point out in the skill talents, I have speciality here of Arcana and I have also taken on an additional Arcana Stripe here, so that gives me two two of it, two Arcana, because I wish to specialise in that with this particular character, i.e. I want to make it into 
more of a mage, but you don't have to do that. There's nothing stopping you taking any other special, any other skill talent you wish. And I've also taken botany, which happens to have the herbalism speciality as well. Many of these, many of these skill talents will not have a speciality at the top. It is not essential. You choose to do. You choose to add one in. In fact, I could have taken smithing, and decided that I wanted to have a student of the arcane who do, who also knows how to to fix things and mend things. It doesn't matter. Uh, there's one there, Fey Heritage, which has no speciality whatsoever. So I'm going to put those back now. And the final things I'd point out about your occupation now that you've made it. Each of your skill talents here will have one, two, three abilities. So the talent has three abilities. And each of those abilities will, be able, will tell you whether you exhaust or drain. This symbol here is for exhaust. Whether there are any prerequisites, this symbol up here means that there must be fungi in the location. It's a herbalism talent. Okay, and then what you do, what you do with the ability to use it. So you exhaust the talent like so, and that means you've, you've taken on the particular ability. Again, here's the arcane talent. You'll see we've got an exhaust, an exhaust, and an exhaust. So you play one of these abilities, this one here is telling you that it's a ranged attack. Play, use as a ranged attack. And you exhaust the card when you use that ability. Finally, on the weapon talents, again in this case we have an exhaust and an exhaust. Drains are quite rare because they're very powerful. Okay, and those are both ranged attacks, obviously it being a bow. But just to give you an example, so we can see while we're here. Here's Rapid Shot, and this has a Drain ability, Follow-up. Play immediately after your ranged attack to make another ranged attack with your bow. Things I want to point out here, it's Drain, so that means you would turn the card over, because it's a very powerful ability. It's a ranged attack, and this is the PAR icon, Play After You Roll. You always play your ability before you roll, unless the PAR icon is present. So... That is us built our basic character just now. I'm going to stop there, guys. Thanks.